New shooter coverage of NAB 2024 is sponsored by Atomos, B&H Photo Video, and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2024. I'm with Sarah from Blazar Lens. Now, this is the new Kato 2 times full frame anamorphic series. Run me through them. Sure, thanks for having me. We are here at the Blazar booth. We're showing off our Kato. It's been pretty fun to show off. We're, we have them on multiple cameras here, but uh, the Kato is a full frame, uh, two times anamorphic lens set. And if you are familiar with our Remus line, uh, a lot of the characteristics are very similar to the Remus. There's barrel distortion. This has the silver flare, so it's kind of neutral. It'll take on whatever source you throw at it. We have four focal lengths available. We'll have the 40, the 50, the 85, and the 125. They're all optimized for different T-stops. So the fastest one is the one that I'm holding here. It's the 50, it's a T2, but then the 40 is a T24. The 85 is a T28, and then our longest one, the 125, is a T32. Is there a, I, I, I take it that the image circle coverage is slightly different for all of the different focal lengths. I guess that is one of the caveats of making something this small and, and, and you know, with this sort of weight. Right, actually, um, that's a good point because these are the uh, lightest full frame two times anamorphic lenses on the market. We just had somebody come by with the Ronin 4D and put the 50 on it and it worked like a charm. It was really cool to see. But yes, um, that is one of the drawbacks. So I will be fully transparent. So we are marketing it as a full frame lens, but I do want to clarify that the 85 and the 125 are perfect for the large format cameras, three by two open gate sensors. But our uh, 50 and our 40 are going to vignette on the top and bottom because they don't cover the tall sensors. Um, they'll work great on like uh, V Raptors or, or the FX6s, the ones with the 16 by 9 sensors. Uh, are, you, are you still going to get any vignetting if you crop down to 239 to 1? No, actually, so that's a great point. If you crop into 240 or 239, uh, you won't see any of the vignetting on the open gate sensors. And in terms of weight, you said they worked on the Ronin 4D. I mean, I take it these are all under how many pounds each? Yeah, they're all about two pounds. Some are a little over, some are a little under. Like the 50 is just shy of two pounds. And then our longest one is just over two pounds. Like I think it's 2.07 pounds something. And I take it these are a front anamorphic design, so you won't have any problems using them on, um, you know, cameras that are running rear filter adapters, for instance. Yes, actually, that's a great, uh, great point. Um, the 40, unfortunately, uh, does not have a filter thread, but the uh, 50, the 85, and the 125 all have a filter thread. So if you do want to screw on something, and then they all have a really small front filter. Uh, it is an 85. On the and, 50. and because they're a front anamorphic design, you don't have the protruding rear. So what I was saying is if you, you'd be able to use these with rear adapters, rear PL mount adapters that have take yes. filters. Yeah, so they do have a standard flange distance. Um, there's not really any protrusion coming out. It's, you know, we've, we've stepped up since the great joys. Um, and speaking of the rear protrusion, they're also swappable. We do carry EF mounts as well, and you just unscrew the back and just give me one moment and I'll do it to show. Uh, you and do you need to shim the lenses if you do this or will they are they calibrated no, so it should so be you, fine? You should be fine if you're changing from PL to EF. You don't need to shim the lenses, but if you do need to shim the lens, um, we do we we give you the lens, the shims when you purchase, but if we also sell them if you need extra. <laughs> but then also um, it's really easy to shim. You just pop this off, see these four screws right here, and then you just take this off put on the the new lens or the the mount wow and you said and there's four focal lengths available um do you think if they're popular there's bound to be more added in the future Ooh, that's that's a really interesting idea i mean 40 is very wide but um we did do something with the remus where we did offer wider focal lengths and to be honest I know the Kato's are going to be really popular, and if the people ask for something wider than 40, we will probably uh, develop something wider than a 40. Okay, and in terms of pricing and availability? So these will be available for pre-order in August, and then they will be shipping in September. We'll release the price uh, pretty close to August, maybe in June or July, maybe around Cine years. Um, we don't have pricing yet, but all I can say is it will be affordable and accessible. The Remus are $9.99. These are going to be a little more.